And good morning, good weekend, good um, good camping weekend. Yeah, we're hopping in a vintage VW van this weekend, and her name is Margot. Oh my gosh. Look at look guys, look, can you see? Oh no, wait, let's take right. the let's take the let's take that instead for the night. Hi Ben. Hi Mike. Nice to meet you. This is gorgeous. Now, are you buying it? like, wow. Could we live in here in Sydney RV? I probably could, but it would be really Maybe. Really tough. But it would be hard. We're gonna be asking that question like all weekend long. <laughs> okay, so the kid's bed. There's two toggles here and here. And down it comes, okay. And then in here, you've got all your cups and plates and knives and fork, and of course, the most important. <laughs> the bed, nice and simple. So it's a click clap. Good old French click clap to pull okay. up. Yep. He's like, this family seems shady. We can go, we, how far? Do you remember how to do this? Yeah, ready? Oh my God, I'm so right. nervous, Will. Dad, what are you doing? You really make things sound like it's shivering. <laughs> I know, have one. It's, it's kind of scary, <laughs> but we're moving. Bye. which is beautiful. This is amazing. It's majestic, it's contrasty, there's cliffs. It reminds me, it's a little bit of a different terrain, but it reminds me of a lot of PCH going from Los Angeles, the drive up to San Francisco. Now Starting the day by driving from Agay east towards Cannes, just stopping along the way at places like this. Taking photos, taking videos, chatting with the kids, talking about where we find peace. This is where I find peace. Largo, where did Largo say? Largo finds peace in a Lego store. Alan finds peace in a library, and Will finds peace. Where do you find peace? Snuggling with the kids. Snuggling with the kids, and I think number two in there might be running, right? Almost. Having fun? Can you catch some dinner? Look oh, so How is it up there, Largo? Good. How do you like the van so far? I love the van. I love the van. We have too many steps to climb. I gotta catch my breath, and we gotta go see something else. Right, Jess? We need to get stuff for some oars. <laughs> some oars. Okay, so right now we are going to the the grocery store and we are going to pick up stuff for s'mores where it'll be everything we get for our first night in the VW bus and if you guys haven't noticed yet I cut my hair let's, let's all get a piece of chocolate and then we'll get an orange we're getting through my dad told me to I don't agree we'll have an so long can't leave going your road You ready to go? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's rock and roll. I've got my nap. I have my disco nap and I'm ready to roll. And when Will and I were doing our budget for RVing Europe, we, you know, we kind of stick to the same budget each country and then we modify our lifestyle. But we were really concerned about the RVing because we were thinking of buying the RV and then paying for campsites and they can be anywhere from 25 to 50 to 75 a night and in, in Europe depending on where you are that's way out of our budget if we factor in what we paid for the RV and then divide that over you know 365 days but 
through our research, we have learned that there's a lot of opportunity to free camp or wild camp here. I mean, sometimes it's not very glamorous. You know, it's like on the side of a street or in a, their version of a Walmart parking lot, but it's free, right? And there's always some sort of really cool experience you can get out of it, meet interesting people. Um, so we're, we're hoping to do this free wild camping at least 80% of the time. If we can do it 90, 95, we would be totally happy, especially Mr. Accountant over here. Smile, Accountant. Well, we, we have to buy something for the GPS because there's no way I can carry this thing. Because <laughs> Jessica is an awful navigator. There's That's no not way. true. That's not true. There's no way I can do this by myself. I am a great navigator. I just get really car sick. So I'm better suited to just talk on the camera when we're going around places. I want to live here too, Largo. Wait till you guys snuggle up in that twin bed tonight. Oh no, that's, that's, the, that's the thing I could not do. No. So we're driving down the road and people start waving and I think, do we know them? Like, wait a minute, we don't know them. And then I realize what we're driving. We are driving this hot van. It's, I mean, it's people... really just just an amazing car, this Margo. And <laughs> but then she again, is. they could have noticed us from our YouTube channel. Yeah, it's... that's probably it. That's probably <laughs> we are near like cons, right? by the way. So remember how we were featured in cons the other week? Well, it's not coming back to, to haunt us. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> everyone remembers. To, us, everyone right? wants to see this stuff. <laughs> All right. Do you think we should stay here for the night? <coughs> I wonder if they have space. Wow, this is really nice right on the water. On advice of our 69 campers guy who rented this to us, this is where we're going and this is called, I don't even know what it's called, but it's right on the water. It's that is called a, oh my God, how do you set this up? Setting up here by the RV park has been something of an extraordinary thing because we've never done this before. We've camped, but never set like this where we've got tables and chairs and, and trying to hook up electricity. We got a lot to learn, guys. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You guys know what you're doing? No, we don't. We so, are in big trouble when we get our own RV, guys. We so don't. day one in, in this van, and we have no idea how to run the electricity. We can't get power. We don't know what we're doing wrong. Thank God we're not dealing with water because oh we, we went out swimming in this place oh or, or in a desert. <laughs> we but, are so screwed. <laughs> so our job now is to go to the front desk and hope that she speaks well enough English. Because we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna need to hire someone to come with us in this RV. Anyone knows how to do power? I mean, is it different in a VW van versus an RV? Do we have to take a class oh i'm God. so afraid yeah it's plugged in and you and it's okay it's, it's all plugged in yeah. but we have no power <laughs> Alors, well. <laughs> i was hoping she'd plug down and help us I've, Jess, I've got jessica's help. enlisted Jessica, help yeah there's, there's another person nice. here with another vw <laughs> van here which we rented it for the weekend we're thinking she has like the so, secret to, think, to this. I don't know if it's this. From Holland, okay. Yes. You can go in if you want. Those are our buttons over there. Oh, yay. So, okay, the mice are the same. Uh, he just put new floor in. Yes, I have the same. Oh, do you? Yes. Yeah. So, um, beginner mistake and this lovely gentleman what's your name eddie eddie helped us out it was not the van it was not the outlet but it was the cord that was going between and he helped us out and he helped us string it underneath the other rv so that it could make it to our space so we owe eddie a pint <laughs> yeah, well, whatever you know at least you have a good time i've done that and it's easy okay so on the advice of our traveling buddy over there we figured it out you see this cord right here? This cord is the cord that came with our van. The other cord that we attached it to, that came from the park and that was no good. So we just had to move this a little bit closer. <laughs> I thought it was gonna jump on me. And, uh, and I think it just all worked fine now. I went to the bathroom. I remember to bring toilet paper with me, but what I neglected to pack was towels, shampoo, soap, um, I'm sure we're gonna have that in our RV, but we are such beginners. We just had the mess up with the, the power cord. Like we didn't even think to check the power cord as why our vehicle would not charge. And then it just took me 10 minutes to find the trash. <laughs> we, we have a lot to learn. We're gonna learn it, but I think it's gonna be a little bumpy there in those first couple months. We didn't bring, you guys didn't bring pillows. This place is, oh, oh. You guys just have to use the pillows. 
And good morning guys. So tonight, well last night, was our first night in the van and it wasn't that uncomfortable. And honestly, we all snuggled in pretty good. The kids up on top and us down the bottom. Here's one thing I've come to realize real quick. For van life, you have to have a really strong bladder. So word to the wise, make sure that you empty the tank <laughs> figuratively uh, before you go to bed in a van. But otherwise, I think the RV with a bathroom inside is gonna be just perfect. Look, Jess. A, oh, baguette. <gasps> oh, messy. All right, so so this morning it was, I mean, it was pretty easy. I just had some eggs. I forgot any type of um, butter or anything for the pan, but it seems to work out because it's one of those non-stick pans. It's a little challenging here just because we're not really set up. I think it's gonna be easier in an RV because we have a bigger space and we're gonna outfit it to be able to cook um, all the time. But we made it work. I mean, look, it works. It's pretty simple. There's no there's no bacon, there's no ham, um, there's no toasting anything. We're just keeping it simple this morning. But it's made with love, right, Jen? It's made with a lot of love. <laughs> so Avalon, how was your first night in a camper van? And it was cold, it was so cold. You were cold last night? It was really cold last night. Did you keep Avalon warm last night? No. No, he did not. There was a mound of stuffed animals in between us. Okay, so today is day two. Take two. After night one, which now it's everyone's cold. a little cold, a little tired, a little uncomfortable. That's van life. Uh, we're gonna take photos today because we don't really take a lot of family photos and with this van as a backdrop, how can it not be awesome? Essentially, it's this beautiful. whole drive from where we're camping all the way to here, we're actually between uh, Agai, Ajay, and Saint Tropez, and everything is like this behind it's us. It's gorgeous. There's so many turnoffs. You know, I have a feeling I'm going to say this a hundred times probably in the next year of RVing, but this is incredibly beautiful and just feels so good. I had no idea how cool the south of France was until we did this drive. Me neither. Me neither. No Me idea. Neither. Look at the scenery behind us. and. We're learning how to skip rocks. Now, oddly enough, we never really spent a lot of time by a lake learning how to skip rocks. And we're gonna learn right now, right, Lago? Yeah, but it's hard to do it on the ocean. You think so? With waves. Well, uh, maybe you're right. I don't know. Let's try it anyway, right? Yeah. Okay. You got it! Good job, Largo. Largo, what would you say is the hardest part about skipping a rock? Mm, how do you do it? Alam, what's the hardest part about skipping a rock? Um, when you're just the throwing part and finding the perfect rock. How do you think you're doing so far? I think I'm doing pretty good. Okay, so this is a part of our photo shoot, our family photo shoot for the day. And yeah. Jessica is being the art director for, for this shot. It's really hard to do family shots with the tripod and the timer. What's that thing called? The, the, the clicker? The, the remote control? The remote control. It's difficult. But we don't have many pictures of the four of us, so we're working it out. All right, Largo's in position. Alan, position? Jessica, does anyone know that you used to be a photographer? Looks like I'm taking a poop. <laughs> hey, viewers! Okay. Okay. The one thing I really do.
do like about this van, and as much as the cool factor is a really cool factor, but it's old school, right? So you're like driving and it's there's no power steering, so you have to earn your turns. And it's it's really just a lot of fun. I can just go like this and feel like I'm riding a bus. Because it feels like a bus. <laughs> All right, guys, we just wrapped up our weekend with Margot. She was awesome. I loved her. You know, people look at this car and they go like this, and they go like this, and they go like this, and all I see in their eyes are the, the, the like words freedom just kind of radiate from their body. Freedom and happiness and dreams. And I see a lot of people looking at this with a I wish I would have kind of attitude. And this just really reinforces. It just I'm makes so, people happy. It does. People. But I'm also so glad that we made the decision to RV. I mean, it wasn't an easy decision. There's a lot involved. And I'm just glad we did it because I don't want to be looking at someone's vehicle one day going, I wish I would have or, you know. Right. So the question becomes at this point is, what what are the dreams that you guys have that did not execute on and yeah. what do you think that tell you know, us comment what do you think that you can do to actually make that happen yeah because, and why aren't you doing it you know why? a little tell yellow us. little van like this little yellow van like this can easily just make your life that much happier for a weekend a week a month you know maybe a year i mean it's and then you can have the inspiration at that point just to move forward into something else that really springs yeah forward it's into something scary huge. guys it's scary to take the big leap but i'm watching people look at this car and look at it with like just such like i want to do this so i wished i would have done this you know and i it makes me so sad all right so this has been our amazing weekend in the van. <laughs> we're going to be jumping into the rv really soon and adventuring all around europe uh, she's not going to be our van, our, our, our RV, no, our, is I not going to be as could. pretty as this one. She's but, a little too small for us for a year, I think. But we're going to have <laughs> a great time. So keep on watching World Towning. We're going to show you guys everything there is to see all around Europe and then some. Yes. And then uh, hit that subscribe button and hit the like button. And, and we'll comment. see you guys next time. On World Towning. Bye. Au revoir.